Hi guys, Ben here from Mouth of the Time, back with an exclusive this morning. Yeah, just been sent over some information from a contact that I trust implicitly. Um, been getting some great information off him over the past few years. And I've been sent over the information that Newcastle United are scouting three players at the World Cup in Qatar this coming month. Um, it, this is an exclusive. I've not seen these names put anywhere else on the internet up to now. Um, this is something that I'm really excited about and I felt like I had to do a video to share it with you guys because if these signings do come off after a period of scouting, which has obviously started now and it's continuing at the World Cup, then these three players could really help take us to this next level that we're trying to achieve. So let's get into it. I'm going to give you an exclusive of three players that Newcastle United are scouting at the World Cup in Qatar this winter. So the first player I want to touch on, guys, is Yusufa Makoko. Now, Makoko is a 17-year-old attacking player that plays for Dortmund, obviously in Germany. He is currently the youngest ever scorer for Germany under-21s at the age of 16, 17. So that tells you a lot about the the talent this guy has and, and how highly he's rated at both club and country level. Yeah, so Makoko has scored six goals in 22 appearances already this season, which for a 17-year-old is absolutely fantastic numbers. I, I would class him in the bracket as Goran Kowal, a kind of young wonder kid that, you know, he's got potential to, you know, reach these heights that, that you know, we, all the top players in the world would, would want to reach. These kids at 17, 18 year old have it in their locker. Um, he, he's somebody, if we sign, I would be very excited about and I would have no qualms about seeing him on the fringes of the first team on the bench making sub appearances for a year or two and then hopefully cementing his place in the starting lineup. That's how highly that myself and others that are aware of Mukoko rate this guy. Such a great kid, such a great talent. Um, born in Cameroon, moved to Germany when he was young, uh, obviously playing for Germany now. So I'm expecting him to get loads of caps for the German national team over the next decade, uh, 15 years. In fact, you know, he's so young, he could play, probably play for another 15 years at the highest level. So let's, let's keep an eye on this one. As I always say, it's not nailed on yet, but he is being scouted by Newcastle United at the World Cup in Qatar. Yeah, so. so like I say, he'll be at the World Cup in Germany. You'll be able to keep an eye on him in their, in their group games and if they progress, you know, further than that, which I'm sure they will, maybe in the knockout stages as well. And it is somebody that we are having a close eye on. Um, like I say, this information, it's really exciting because not only are we looking at players from Brazil, we're also looking at players uh, from Australia like Goran Kowal and obviously in Germany and the rest of Europe. That scout network as well is expanding all the time. And Makoko is obviously... He's a player that many clubs are looking at, but this is the confirmation that we have today that Newcastle United are one of those clubs looking at him. So keep an eye on him in Qatar. Um, he could be playing for Newcastle United in the near future. Yeah, so the second player Newcastle United is scouting at the World Cup in Qatar is Portuguese goalkeeper Diogo Costa, who plays for Porto. He's only 23 years old. He's already amassed 140 appearances at, at club level. So that's obviously something that's that's very high for a goalkeeper at 23. You know, it's not something that you would probably see um, until until a few seasons in. But he's obviously been playing from a very young age. You know, a bit like Tim Kroll did with us. He came in at the first team at 17. Uh, a bit like Casillas when he did it in Spain. It is possible for goalkeepers to start young if they are good enough. And obviously he's got nearly 150 club appearances there and, he, and he's not even 24 years old yet so the talent's there um he's a ball playing goalkeeper he's very good with the ball at his feet um you know this is something that Pope is a great goalkeeper but if we are looking to go to the next level it would be very much about to our advantage to have somebody this dynamic uh, who could start attacks from the back uh Pope does kind of play it out from the back but he's often kicking it short or, or kind of rolling it uh you know throwing it to to the defense Whereas Diogo Costa could maybe bring the ball out a bit further, a bit higher up the pitch, move us a few yards up the pitch, very comfortable with the ball at his feet. So he's kind of very much on the radar again, like Makoko of various clubs in Europe. Um, there's nothing set in stone to say that if we were interested, we would actually get him. But he is such a talent. Um, he's just forced his way into the kind of Portugal national team lineup. Uh, he's got seven caps for them already and does look like to be their number one as they go into Qatar in the World Cup, so he's obviously going to get some experience there. Yeah, he's got the world at his feet, and, you know, he's just a player that it, you'd feel bad for Pope if he was unsurped by, you know, a, a young up-and-coming keeper like this, but Pope is 30, and, you know, nothing lasts forever, and we have to start planning for the future. Also, even if he didn't come in as immediate number one, which, which kind of would be strange if he didn't, but the competition between Pope and Costa, 
would be better than having Pope with Darlow and Carrius, who obviously, and, and Gillespie as well, if you want to include him. Now, our three backup keepers are nowhere near the level of Nick Pope. And that's something that needs to be addressed because if Pope was to get an injury, you are looking at players that are championship level, probably at best. Um, I would say Gillespie's more League One, League Two, and Carrius probably, you know, he's... He, he could probably pass as a Premier League player in, in, in some lower teams, but certainly not for a team pushing for the title. Yeah, we can say that these days. And the Champions League. So let's keep an eye on that one too. Diogo Costa um, is going to be making appearances for Portugal in the World Cup. So Newcastle United have eyes on him. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, so the third and final player I want to touch on today, guys, that Newcastle United are scouting at the World Cup in Qatar this winter is Andreas Skov Olsen. He is a Danish international currently playing for Club Bruges in Belgium. He's 22, 23 years old and he's a winger. Yeah, so I can't claim to have heard too much about Skov Olsen before today. Uh, the information was sent over with the three names that Newcastle United were keeping tabs on very, very, very closely in Qatar with maybe views to making a move in January if they impress on the international stage. Um, Skov Olsen is a right-footed, right-winger, can play attacking midfield too. Uh, to me, it'd be a Ryan Fraser upgrade you know, Fraser's been a real disappointment for me this year. Hasn't been fit enough, hasn't been fast enough, hasn't been strong enough. Doesn't score, doesn't assist, hasn't really contributed anything of note to this Newcastle United side on this amazing run we've been on. So if we could replace him for a younger version, you know, Skov Olsen could be that man. So yeah, Danish international, keep an eye on him in the World Cup in Qatar. And he's the third and final player in Newcastle United is scouting in this winter's world yeah. cup so that's it guys thanks a lot for tuning in today uh like i said just wanted to give you these three names that's all that was sent over not going to elaborate any more on that or do any guesswork but as far as i'm aware through contacts that i've trusted implicitly that these are th the three players that newcastle united are scouting in this winter's world cup in qatar so if you like the video guys please drop a like subscribe if you like the channel we're going to be doing a whole host of these videos over the next few weeks as we approach the january transfer window loads of time for them in november and december loads of targets will be lined up as, as it kind of heats up as we get closer to january so stay tuned keep your eyes on this channel for all the latest transfer news and some exclusive hopefully uh so yeah i've been ben from mouth of the time take care guys all the best